what I want to read to you today, different extracts, are my gap year diary. So today I decided to do something a little bit different. I actually want your advice on something about it, okay? And what I want to read to you today, different extracts, are my gap year diary. <laughs> now look at it. It is, and I kid you not, every single page is full of something more. It's like, look at that. I'm not even joking. So what I, I thought a kind of fun thing to do would be read out different extracts from the book today. See what you think, because obviously your advice is like the most precious, precious advice. And if you like it, I want you to comment below and tell me if you want me to read out the whole book. And I feel like I want to read out the whole book with someone like Francis Ball, or someone like that who's been in the video with me, who's just great. And we might do it as a podcast or a video or something like that. So if you enjoy these little extracts, comment below and let us know if you think it's a good idea. Okay. I haven't read this, I haven't read this in so long. Okay, right. The very first page is a picture of me and my ex-girlfriend, a girl called Lucy Jump, and she actually gave me this book. She gave it to me. And her, the beginning bit says to, this is when we were going out, she's my girlfriend, and we were going out before I went married, I went traveling, and she said, it's 2008. Fuck. Eight years ago. To my dearest Jamie, write all your thoughts and memories to enjoy in many years to come. I shall be thinking of you every day. I'll miss you, I love you now and always. Your Lucy. With all the new memories, don't forget the old ones. <laughs> What's so funny about this book, right, is that, so I mean I wrote so much of it, but every single page, or every single different entry of my diary, I would write a title. So for example, 20th Feb, Wednesday, I think I've eaten too much pudding, lads. And then I go into it all, oh, I go, you know, halfway through it, I just pick around the page, I mean, I okay, get here. 17th of April on a Monday, breakfast for the first time in a long time. Very first entry, on 14th of February 2008 and it's a Thursday. I wish you guys could see the spelling as well, because I'm really, I'm not, I, was a, I think I was dyslexic. And so I was a very bad speller. Okay, but however, dyslexic people are like the most creative people apparently. Right, here we go. One of the hardest things I had to do was leave Lucy at the airport. I'll be fine though, our love is too strong. What do I write in a diary? I suppose all the thoughts that come into my head, stories that I get from my gap year, which I must take full advantage of. He threw to Madrid, Madrid to Buenos Aires. I get in at 2.15 a.m. I can't wait to see the lads. Happy Valentine's Day, Boo. I love you. <laughs> no, Boo was Lucy. That's what I used to call her. <laughs> Once again, my powers amaze me. Having just got to Madrid, where screaming babies and gritty bearded men overpopulated the airport, I was upgraded to first class to fly to Buenos Aires. <laughs> what? The kind Spanish woman looked at my boarding card with a cunning look, smirked and ripped it up and gave me a ticket to seat 1A with a sly wink. A good start to a gap year. <coughs> Saturday the 1st of March. My title is, as I said, there's always titles, The Fucking Fantastic Four. After adventurous supper where I had nothing apart from a rather rapidly drunk mojito, we left the restaurant giving a sly wink, to, always a sly wink, to a rather cheeky waitress on our way out. Drinks, lads. What was the shout of Plaza Scenario we went. We already went there. We were asked to, to pay... 10 pesos each to get into Taz, so we left in a grump. How much is 10 pesos? I can't even remember how much 10 pesos is. And when there seemed like no real playtime, we headed for home. At home, the tequila sunrise were being thrown back. Speeches occurred and the Fantastic Four was born. Got a text from Belle and the Heathfield lot. So Belle was a good friend of mine, she was a girl, the Heathfield girls, it was a school near us. And got ready to leave. By this time, it was 2 a.m. Having bundled into the lift, we decided to have one more rowdy Fantastic Four chant. 
and it may have been our last. The, the, lift made, the lift made a sudden jerk and a Formula 8 appeared on the screen. Fuck. All was fun and games for about 5 minutes and then things were a wee bit intense. We were like rats trapped in a small cage. While two sat, two had to stand and vice versa. That was it, I got stuck in a lift at 2am in the morning. Being stuck in a lift for 53 minutes wasn't fun. Never try and trap Hoyer Miller in a small place. Call the police, he was yelling over and over again. Basically what happened there, we got stuck in a lift at 2am in the morning with my friend James Ivory, who was with us, called Jim. It was his birthday, and it was a surprise birthday for him, so everyone was waiting, but we were stuck in the lift with no signal, and we couldn't get him to a surprise birthday. <laughs> oh my god, we're just a genius, but... And then all quotes, and then everything. I mean, what I want to do with it is turn it into a podcast, or do different diary entries or something like that, so I want you to leave a comment below if you think it's good. So if you like the video, remember to subscribe, give a big thumbs up. Love you guys. See you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.